This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hello, everybody. It is that award season. It is time for the Mayhemies here, and as we like to do here, you know, in the uh, mid late January ness, wherever you might be uh, catching this. But we like to look back on the year of things that happened in the Mayhem Show, around the uh, Mayhem Show in professional wrestling, and today in independent professional wrestling with me he is here in studio in the wrestling mayhem show uh statics statistics <laughs> stati- statisticians in the nerve center in the in nerve the think center tank. Uh, the think tank of the uh Sorgatron media studios the mayhem uh mayhem nation central here uh missy's back there uh working working away lean, lean to your left missy say hi to everybody punching numbers punching numbers yes uh <laughs> hello uh but but no this isn't what we were talking about about doing something a little different you know yeah yeah, we've always done the mayhemies you know and they're fun you know we do matches and wrestlers and things like that but we wanted to do something extra special this year yes um for the first time sorg we're gonna select the recipient of the first ever excellence in independent professional wrestling award presented by IndieWrestling.us. That's right. Nationwide award. The 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 very best who are doing it the best for independent wrestling promotions coast to coast. This is going to be a big one. Sorry. So we're going to announce the nominees. We're going to make a case for them. I know you have some inside discussions you've been having in the world of professional wrestling. Yeah, that's right. I want to point out off the top. This is not my list of nominees. We, we have 10 nominees. These are not my nominees. These are not your nominees. These this was a carefully cultivated list um, over the past you know few weeks or so. I've been in conversation with uh, a bunch of uh, industry insiders and experts on uh, independent professional wrestling. They've been feeding me names. They've been pushing their own agendas. That we've been kind of you know sorting through all these names. We've been going through the the, uh, the numbers. Um, let me talk real quick about the criteria just a little bit, Sorgi. Um, we're kind of looking at. Um, we're looking at like overall activity. You know, we want to know who's working the most um, in the United States. We're basing this award squarely in the U.S. Uh, work being done for U.S. wrestling promotions, so not New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah, not, so anything not, in Japan or England, yeah, that's yeah. Out, of, out of the things. But as far as like um, what you might consider an independent wrestler, uh, we're kind of taking that out of the equation, and we're just basing it. This award basically on a person's or a wrestler's body of work with independent wrestling promotions. So what you would consider a non-national promotion. So you're going to see some names that you're going to recognize, names you've seen on TV. But um, as far as our basis and uh, how we're judging the list of nominees and how we hope uh, everyone on the internet votes on the nominees to select the winner, we're hoping that everyone will base it on the wrestler's body of work with the independent wrestling promotions in the U.S., Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so, so well, let's get to it. Who was the first nominee? All right. First nominee. We're going to go through these in alphabetical order uh, to try to be fair. Uh, the first nominee is Brian Cage, a name you certainly know from Lucha Underground, but mm-hmm. super active on the U.S. indie scene. They say he's a machine. They say he's a machine. Over 85 matches in the U.S. over the Jeez. past year. Believe me, it gets better with some of our other nominees. Well, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's a monster in SoCal. Uh, he had some Great matches for PWG. Uh, he was also a big part of Wrestle Circus, Upstart Promotion. He was their champion two times uh, within the past year. So he had a great mm-hmm. year. And promotion has been making waves for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely. I mean, I, and we're looking at guys that, you know, their promotability, their value to independent promotions too. So you're looking at a promotion like Wrestle Circus, and you'll see this with some other um, promotions that we mentioned here along the way. You know, Cage is a guy that they're like, we, you know, we're going to make this guy a focal point of our promotion. And, uh, you know, that has value for how we're uh, uh, judging the nominees here. Okay. So, yeah, Brian Cage, that's uh, our first nominee. Second nominee, this is a name you'll know very well, Sammy Callahan. Mm-hmm. 90, over 90 matches in the U.S. over the last year. And, and a guy that was in NXT um, left, I, I believe, of his own volition mm-hmm. to, you know, make that name and, and, and Space Cat. I'm sorry. Space Cat. He was Space Cat. 
He d- he came out to the ring as Space Cat one time. Oh oh yes, he did. Yes, I remember. Yes. Um, but obviously, you know, the NXT days for Sammy Callahan are, are a distant memory at this point because he mm-hmm. is super in demand on the Indies. Um, he was the, he was a champ in AAW. He was a champ in Rockstar Pro. He was a champ in Wrestle Circus over the past year. Uh, he had some you know four plus star matches uh, based on uh, Wrestling Observer uh, Meltzer ratings. If you uh, how much you buy into that thing, mm-hmm. uh, he had six main events for AAW, big promotion out in Illinois, uh, probably one of the top indies in the whole country. Uh, and he's been doing it from coast to coast, Texas, Illinois, Florida. SoCal, everywhere. And still making an impression in at least uh, three major promotions in the, in, the, in, the, in the wild while doing all this. Exactly. And making inroads in Japan, too. Mm-hmm. Um, so he had a monster year um, with some national groups, but on the independent scene also. Definitely deserves to be mentioned with uh, our uh, list of nominees for the independents. Let's move on. Third nominee, Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb is a name that maybe some don't recognize at first. Right. right? I mean, he, he had, I, 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 I hesitate to call it a breakout year because I think his breakout year is still to come, mm-hmm. but he took a huge step forward. Uh, well, we should clarify. Some may know him as Montanza, Monster Montanza Cueto in, in Lucha Underground. So he's on the independence. He's not going to be Montanza on the independence. He's no. Jeff Cobb. <laughs> and and I know I have recently been able to see him thanks to New Japan in as Jeff Cobb a bit more uh, myself. Not Independence, I know, but still, like I, I'm able to see him outside of that other body of work now. Um, he was he had a huge year. I mean, obviously he's a monster in SoCal, mm-hmm. uh, but he's been doing it everywhere over the past year. You know, Texas, Illinois, Maryland, Florida. He even has been wrestling in Hawaii, which I guess is technically where he's from which is cool for him. Uh, he's the current PWG uh, World Tag Team Champions, along with Matt Riddle. Uh, he had a ton of... He had 11 matches with the PWG over the last year, uh, and he was popping huge star ratings. Again, if you go by the Meltzer ratings, um, great quality, great volume of work, and um, as far as someone who's uh, promotability, maybe not quite uh, the amount of main events as some of the other guys, but like I said, I think... Obviously, we feel like he deserves to be among the 10 nominees, but I think his best work is still to come. So uh, definitely a guy on the rise. So Young on the career and the breakout career, getting attention. Um, next up, all right, this is where the nominees are going to get a little interesting for people, I think. Um, Ray Phoenix, better known as just Phoenix from Lucha mm-hmm. Underground. Okay. Um, better known, obviously, for Lucha Underground, for his work in Mexico. But you may not realize... Over 65 matches with independent promotions in the U.S. over the past year. And I think when you bring up a guy like that, you know, he's probably getting a lot of work in Mexico on top of what he's been doing here in, in the States, which we are not counting. Exactly. We're not even taking that into account. And I mean, over 65 matches, that's a huge volume for someone who's just working in the States. So you can mm. imagine uh, how busy Phoenix has been. Um, huge year, especially in AAW. 12 main events for AEW over the past year. That's a huge independent promotion. That's I I can't find anybody in our research that our crack staff of researchers were doing over the past few weeks. I mean, she's still still trying to find them back there. We're still looking for someone who's had more than 12 main events for a single independent promotion over the past year. 12 with any independent promotion. Sometimes sometimes it's hard for a promotion to have 12 events. Exactly. Yes. Let alone one yeah. as, as big and as popular as AAW. Mm-hmm. Um, he's the current AAW champion. He was he held their tag team championship. He had five matches in PWG over the past year that Meltzer rated four stars or higher. So the match quality is there. The volume, while not as high as someone like Callahan or Cage, is pretty good. And obviously, AAW thinks he's extremely valuable when it comes to promoting. So big stuff from uh, Ray Phoenix. You ready for another one? I'm ready for another one. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a pause. I was hoping you'd jump in there. That's okay. Oh, I, I, I don't have much. Well, I, well I, I'm noticing like a lot of these guys, you know, I, I mostly know from their, I guess, more mainstream work. Right. So it, it's kind of hard to follow on with the indies to that extent. Right. But I mean, the, like we said, I mean, the, the, a lot of the, um, when you're, when you're trying to pigeonhole someone as strictly an independent professional wrestler, that's very difficult to do. So I think this, um, 
our, our criteria works a little bit better um, as far as just judging them based on their work with the independent promotions. Mm-hmm. Um, and it does let some national names into the conversation. But, you know, those are the guys that uh, the indie promoters are using the most. And let's move on to uh, another name here. Um, another guy who's definitely on the rise, um, Joey Janela. Joey Janela. Now, now he's been, and I know he was just brought up recently on the Edge of Christian podcast as a guy using social media because they're looking kind of a back at technology and uh, with uh, Shane Helms and uh, Tommy Dreamer, who's, you know, just tonight as we're recording, had a twitch of his uh, also hardcore show. And that's working out very well for him as scenes. Uh, this is a guy that, that um, I've seen a few matches. We've recorded a few matches with him here in the Pittsburgh area. He's been in this area, yeah. Uh, I, so... I don't think I've seen him in his best work in the ring, but the stuff that he does online and things like Joey Janela's spring breakout, you know, around the yep. WrestleMania weekend last year, uh, you know, he is a guy that is good at generating buzz and the character, right? Yes. Um, now, what are they thinking about him as far as what he's been doing in the independence otherwise? Well, I mean, li- Let's look at let's just take the numbers into account for just for starters. Over 85 matches for the indie promotions across the the US. Current AIW intense champion. Mm-hmm. Um held uh, one of the championships in CZW. Uh was main eventing obviously for AAW. CZW was main eventing for Beyond multiple times. You mentioned Joey Janela's spring break. Great out of the box idea for WrestleMania weekend that they did. The real thing that really jumps off the page for me about Joey Janela is the diversity of opponents for him over the past year. Um, you've also, you've obviously got some of, you know, his contemporaries, Jeff Cobb, Matt Riddle, Keith Lee, he was wrestling those guys. You've got guys with national promotions that he had matches with, like Adam Cole and Marty Skrull and Trevor Lee. But then you've also got these veterans that Joey was working with over the past year. He had matches with Scott Norton. He had matches... With, he had a match with Marty Jannetty at Joey Janela's spring break. He wrestled Glacier. I mean, I, I love the fact that he's he's not only working with, you know, these great technical guys or these big stars, but he's also working with these veterans. I, that's kind of what is really appealing to me and, about And can we say Joey. outside the box veterans, too? Yeah, exactly. Not your obvious choices. Uh, it, it seems like he likes a challenge yeah. and he likes to think outside of the box. Um, so, I, 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 like I said, that's what makes him a really interesting candidate here. Excellent. All right, next up, this guy's definitely, in my opinion at least, is a front runner for this award. Keith Lee. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. friend of the show, Keith Lee. Uh, one of our experts just quoted, gave me a quote, just said, "Bask in his glory." Huge breakout. So our panel was huge on Keith Lee. Over ninety matches with indie promotions across the U.S. In addition to making some inroads with ROH, right? And some Which other... I, actually, I think I don't know if he did. In, that was a, a year ago because he was teaming with Shane Taylor. We had Shane Taylor, I believe, was at early. That was late 2016. He was signed at the time, and we talked about that a little bit because he was teaming with him. Shane went to Ring of Honor. Keith did not, for whatever reason, and mm-hmm. continued on the independence. Where obviously he's still making an impact. Uh, he's the current WWN champion. Obviously, the parent group of evolve um he's holding the vip tag team champions right now with uh shane taylor uh he's held tire he held tire he's held okay his his title reign as the inspire pro pure prestige champion ended within the last year's sorg uh came to an end back in may his title reign went 798 days jeez so safe to say that he's the kind of guy you like to put your belt on if you're a promoter (laughs) Um, yeah, Keith Lee had a big breakout year and I, I mean, as you said, I mean, it seems like the best is yet to come from him too, mm-hmm. but, uh, yeah, he's an obvious front runner in this, uh, race, at least in my opinion. Good, good to see him doing that. All right. So earlier we mentioned Ray Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Um, he's on this list and we can't have Ray Phoenix on this list without having, uh, better known as Pentagon dark to most of us, but for the purposes of trademarks and whatnot, Penta L zero M, you know, Anyway, I'll call him Pentagon. Um, and his case is very similar to Phoenix's. Um, over 65 matches with independent promotions across the U.S., so he's got the volume. Um, he's held titles in 
AEW. He held the tag titles in PWG with Phoenix. Um, um, he's doing great quality matches in PWG, four star plus matches. Uh, at least four of them. He's doing main events in AAW, doing main events in PWG, and he's working coast to coast. He's not just working these these yeah. major independent hotbeds, but he was getting into Tennessee. He was getting into North Carolina. Not he was getting into he had he, he worked a show in Western New York, so he was getting into areas that you know it, were not the typical you know super indie um, locations. So I think that speaks a lot to um, the demand there is. I mean, mm. I, I, I mean, other than and this is something that one of our Experts said to me, you know, aside from Rey Mysterio, is there a bigger name, a bigger Lucha name working in the U.S. right now? Probably not. No. Although, I mean, the, the comparison between him and Phoenix is so interesting because obviously they're brothers and um, they're very similar. Uh, they both have great cases. It's, it's amazing to me that they have so many matches with indie promotions in the U.S. while still doing all the other stuff uh, in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Next nominee, as I flip through here. Okay. We're down to the last three of our ten nominees. Matt Riddle, okay, another guy. I have not gone seen global. a Matt Riddle match, but I hear so much about him. One of our nom one of our experts called him the breakout star of the year. Mm -hmm. Over seventy matches in the U.S. with the independent promotions. He's currently holding the PWG Tag Team Titles with Jeff Cobb. Uh, he was he became the first person to win the WWN Championship again. We mentioned that earlier. Keith Lee has that now. Five matches at PWG over the last year. Rated four plus stars by Meltzer. So the match quality is right there. Uh, nine main events for WWN, the, the parent group of uh, Evolve. And like I said, I mean, he went global, but he still obviously did a ton of work with the independent promotions. Uh, and he was everywhere. I mean, he was everywhere. Like, name a place where you see indie wrestling. And uh, Matt Riddle was there over the past year. Next up, very familiar name to anyone who follows the indies. Joey Ryan. And this is where the ma match volume gets insane. Over 110 matches for independent promotions in the U.S. over the past year. I mean, I, I, and not a, not a ton of main events, not a ton of title reigns, although he gets, he, he, he's winning titles here and there. But I mean, it, there's really not much more you need to say about Joey Ryan than it's Joey Ryan, right? He has a t-shirt in Hot Topics. I mean... If they, if what independent? I mean, there's a Bullet Club and uh, New Japan and Ring of Honor stuff in 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 there, but Joey Ryan's right there next to them, so I, I think that speaks volumes as well. Um, and again, a guy that's doing his own thing. I know. I think he started bar wrestling in in the L.A. area. Yep. Um, he's constantly, you know, if you're not watching his matches, you've at least seen a clip of him this year, usually involving his penis. Um, like Joey Janela, he's a guy that's using social media, doing interesting things, and getting attention, and it's working very well for him. And he's, yeah, like you said, he's doing it without any major company really backing him, although he did, you know, get some uh, TV time on uh, Lucha Underground. But really a bit part, so, I mean, yeah. you know. I mean, he really is someone who's kind of found his own way, which makes him perfect for this award. And also, I, I should also point out, you mentioned his penis. Um, he uh, he won, over the past year, he won the Hood Slam Intergalactic Tag Team Championship. His tag team partner was his penis. Yeah, who is a girl. I, I didn't know that, but that's yeah. great to know. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. The last of our 10 nominees. And again, this is a name a lot of people know. Um, Zack Sabre Jr., Mm -hmm. Um, and, and this guy for, for Saber, obviously he's, he's doing stuff around the world. So he only has just over 50 matches with independent promotions in the U S but when you talk about, you know, promotability and that his value to promoters, that man has some air miles. It definitely, and probably never knows what time zone he's in. Uh, he's the current evolved champion. Um, he was finally dethroned as the PWG world champion after, over the past year, his reign ended a 489 day reign as PWG world champion. That's pretty good based on what you see in that promotion. Obviously, the match quality is, is through the roof. You know, four plus star matches uh, rated by Meltzer, at least three of them. Um, he had actually four of them, I should say. He had a five star, according to Meltzer, um, in PWG over the past year, um, doing it with you know, doing it in Evolve, doing it in Chikara, you know, EAAW, Beyond, CZW, he's everywhere. And obviously, you know, while the match volume is not as high as the other nominees, mm. he is someone that, based on his value to promoters, deserves to be on uh, this list of nominees. 
Absolutely. So let me run through the nominees, just the names real quick. Um, so everyone gets them one more time. Um, Brian Cage, Sammy Callahan, Jeff Cobb, Ray Phoenix, Joey Janela, Keith Lee, Penta L0M, Matt Riddle, Joey Ryan, and Zach Sabre Jr. So those are your 10 nominees for the 2017 Excellence in Independent Professional Wrestling Award presented by IndieWrestling.us. There you go. And some of those names, such as jo- Joey Ryan, you can find over on IndieWrestling.us. And plus, maybe somebody who will be on the upcoming award in independent wrestling excellent excellence uh over at indie wrestling.us and of course please uh, uh go vote over at wrestling mayhem show.com uh we'll have links in and uh the votes for everything going on with the mayhemies and we can uh, we'll also have uh much more details on uh all these nominees qualifications their accomplishments over the past year so you'll be able to get good feel what they're all bringing to the table and make a very educated opinion. And we thank all the uh, industry insiders and experts who uh, helped us, gave us all their great insight and, and suggested names. Uh, we think this is a great list, uh, very representative of the uh, past year in independent awesome. professional wrestling. Thank you, Mainstream Matt, for pulling that together for us this year. My pleasure. There you go. And uh, of course, check out everything going on at the Wrestling Mayhem Show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Happy Mayhem. Easy. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.